I've been to Iceland for about uh, 17 years. I started guiding out in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, uh, uh, like 20 years ago, and um, actually guiding horse pack trips and hunting trips out there. And had friends who did dog sledding, so I always wanted to get into it. And then my, uh, actually my daughter, um, who's 15 now, really, really got into it and started racing. Uh, and then so I got into it with her and um, started uh, just dog sledding for fun around all around the Green Mountains here. And then and in the last four years, I started, uh, I've been doing tours of Stratton. Siberian and Alaskan Huskies, which uh, they just, they always want to pull. Like they just, they, they, it's a natural instinct to put a harness on and pull. In the ocean, we lost ourselves. In the ocean, I found Life is hard as it gets us from everywhere In the ocean you find yourself This is a, a Siberian Husky here. He's, he's all fuzzy and cute and he's got one brown eye, one blue eye. Um, most of them have all both blue eyes, uh, and then I have Alaskan Huskies, which they look they look like mutts, but they're just um, they're a breed that's just been bred for dog sledding for years and years, and they're just all muscle and um, uh, and they just want to pull and they're, they're racing dogs. They actually uh, like most teams you see, and I did a ride that they win every year. Um, they're Alaskan Huskies. They they look and they don't look like the Siberian furry huskies, they're the, they're the, they're the mutts, <laughs> but they're just strong. The race I did a rod, that's based on the, uh, the true story when, when the um, gnome, when they had, to, uh, they had to get med medicine to gnome, they had to get diphtheria medicine there, and the only way they could get it there was by dog sled. So they, they took a dog team, and a sled full of diphtheria medication to the town to to help everyone, and that's actually the Iditarod races uh, every year. They it's 1,100 mile race that they run, and that's the same trail they took to get the medicine there. But the dyes are just they're amazing dyes. Are they just they love to pull all the time. But you train them from when they're puppies, and and uh, and um, it's it's a constant. It's a, it's a daily. It's a full time thing all all year round. Though it's. In the winter, you know, you take them on snow and the sleds. And then in the spring and fall, I, I train them on a wheeled sled on dirt roads and trails. And then in the summer, they they get overheated real easy. So in the summer, you just pretty much walk them on leashes and keep them cool. Training I give them is uh, right from when they're puppies. You train them to uh, work together as a team in a line, and train their word commands. Um, and and the word commands I train them. They're uh, for right is G. Turn left, you say ha. Uh, to go, I say let's go. To stop, say ho. <laughs> and um, I'll say on by to go past distractions, stuff like that. I have. Um, the sleds, the sled, and there's a whole brake system on there. Um, you have to uh, uh, use to slow it down and keep the line tight when you're going. And then we have the whole gang line um, where the dogs all hooked to, and um, 
Uh, they have uh, the dies all get. They have harnesses, and they all get hooked in a certain way where uh, uh, the weight is all distributed right to their shoulders. And they all pull and work together as a team, so they're all pulling the same weight. Like the, my teammate dies, he pull like a thousand pounds, and but they're not. They're all working together, so they're not all. It doesn't look like they're working that hard. They're just. And plus, it's amazing how strong they are. I mean, they're, they're a solid muscle. <laughs> I feed them um, a, a high protein dye food and then uh, um, I add a lot of raw meat and fish oil uh, to give them you know, real high protein, real high fat content, especially in the winter because they run, you know, they're running like 60 miles a day and uh, just getting tons of protein and, and fat. No matter what, it could be pouring rain, a blizzard, uh, they, they, they want to run. They always want to pull, but it does change like the snow, like if it's real, the colder the better, like they want it, if it's ice cold and the trails are just crisp and, and hard packed, the, the, the dogs pull better and it, it's a faster, smoother ride. Um, and it, uh, if it's deep powder or sticky snow, it's a harder pull, you know, it's a little slower. So it does, the conditions vary, or if it's slushy snow, it's really, it's a really slow, slow ride. The dogs always love pulling, it's just, it just it, it affects the speed. I, mean, I love being outside and I love watching the, <clears throat> the animals work. Like the dies, watch them do what they love. Like these huskies, um, they just they love to pull and and seeing them do what they love to do is is, is nice. You know they they go crazy. They get all excited to get hooked up. And once they're pulling, they're just quiet. And you just you see them doing what they love. Like this dog here, Dakota, I <clears throat> rescued him um, last year from the Humane Society. He was uh, supposed to be euthanized and. Uh, uh, the, you know, people get them as pets and they don't realize they have to be, that they're working dogs, they have to be exercised constantly. And he, he never had a harness on, um, never, never ran with a dog team, and then, you know, within a week he was running with a team like he'd been a sled dog his whole life. It's just their natural instinct to, to pull, and, then, and now he's lives with other dogs, he runs every day, he's real friendly and happy. They, they bond with you, you know, they're bonded really good if you give them as a puppy and they, you train them as a puppy, but they, um, like I said, they do, it's their natural instinct, so even if you get them older, they they still relatively quickly just start pulling with the team, uh, no problem. Um, it's just for the commands and 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 really, like say, learn, like learn to be a lead dog, where you really know the, the word commands. If you train them as a puppy, that's the best, because then they, they just really know you and know the commands. Like the back, you know, like the back of the paw. <laughs>